<coughs> Good morning. I look forward to. Uh, Ukraine transition from Soviet era equipment uh, uh, standards doctrine. I said in Kiev yesterday uh, that uh, Ukraine's uh, future is in the Euro Atlantic uh, uh, family, and all NATO allies have agreed that uh, Ukraine uh, will become uh, a NATO uh, member. Um, uh, but the main focus now is, of course, uh, on, uh, uh, on how to uh, ensure that Ukraine uh, prevails. The NATO summit in uh, Vilnius. Um, no one can tell when and how this war ends, but what we do know is that when the war ends, we need to ensure that history doesn't repeat itself, that uh, Russia is not able to continue to attack and to wage uh, war again against uh, Ukraine and to continue to chip away at uh, uh, European security. So we need a discussion about a security framework, we need a uh, uh, and there, there, there will be a discussion about, or there is an ongoing discussion about uh, membership. But discuss the preparations uh, for the upcoming uh, NATO summit in Vilnius in uh, July. Even, uh, or also after the war ends, we need to support Ukraine. Because we need to ensure that Ukraine has the military strength, the capabilities, the, the deterrence to prevent new attacks. Because you have to remember that the war didn't start in February last year. The war started in 2014, when um, uh, Russia illegally annexed Crimea, and uh, when Russia for the first time moved into East and Donbas. For a long time, uh, we will we continue, and we will stand by Ukraine in the future. Um, I expect uh, that uh, at this meeting, uh, NATO allies, partners will uh, announce additional support. Uh, and again, not only uh, uh, new platforms, but also to sustain the existing platforms. Uh, just to have the battle tanks, you need enormous amount of ammunition, fuel, um, uh, 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 trailers to be able to move heavy equipment like uh, battle tanks. Um, recovery vehicles. Thank you so much.